All righty. I guess we are. I guess you're alive. Um, hi, my name is Zaria Levister. I'm one of the wellness associates here at Cox Fitness Centers. Um, today I'm going to be discussing the Bright Side Workshop. And today we're just going to be learning about how to refocus our thoughts um, from our failures to our victories and develop a habit of self encouragement. So um, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see all that I have for us to present today. All right. So let's first go over the definition of what positive self talk is. So, positive self talk is a sense of optimism that allows for a constructive attitude toward failing moments. It empowers you to observe the bright side of a situation. Um, you know, we all have that little voice inside of our head alongside our conscience, and this voice may either tear us down or console us uh, when we make. Uh, when we make mistakes, right? So the next slide will give us an idea of whether we build ourselves up or break ourselves down. And this is what I mean. This is um, going to be addressing the issue. So um, there are four different ways in which we can kind of break ourselves down. And so I really um, encourage people to take a look at these things and see if if they're um, they fit into any of these categories. So first we have personalizing. Um, personalizing is blaming yourself for everything. So sometimes we look at ourselves as, you know, the sole person in charge of everything um, that happens in our lives. So, um, we, but we have to understand that, you know, it's okay. We have to be okay with the fact that some things are out of our control and it's, you know, it's not always our fault. The next um, point we have is magnifying. So magnifying is only focusing on the negative factors. Um, there's a lot of, or there has to be a hill, you know, to every valley and sometimes looking toward the hill is the only way that we're going to overcome the barrenness of the valleys right so we have to understand that everything isn't always a bad situation um, next is catastrophizing so uh, catastrophizing is always expecting the worst and this kind of bounces back off of the magnifying is um you know when we have this mindset and sometimes the past pains or harsh experiences that we've you know experience and they traumatize us or make us paranoid um, we'll always expect our future situations to end up that same way so we really just want to make sure that we're not always thinking that everything is going to be bad and and not work in our favor next is polarizing um this happens you know i know for myself a lot of times is seeing everything only as black or white or, or good or bad and that there's no in between, but um, we have to remind ourselves that everything isn't always in either or, you know, there is such thing as middle ground and there is such thing as compromise and sometimes that's the best option. So um, yeah, if you find yourself in any of these categories, definitely um, just see if we can get to the root of that. And with this next slide, we'll actually see how we can solve some of these problems. So um, this is kind of broken down into an acronym and the acronym is GOAL. Um, G O A L. Um, the first um, topic we have is gather. So for gather, what you really want to do is take note of all the current goals or areas of improvement in your life. What are all of the things that you want to, you know, achieve? So is it weight loss? Is it decreased spending, um, like monetary? Is it family time? You know, um, and with all of those things, just take note of them and get them all on a list or all in your head and it's just so that they're at the forefront of your mind. Um, the next is uh, observe. So observe is um, identifying the parts of your lifestyle and everyday habits that can be modified to accommodate your goals. Um, you know, it's one thing to have a goal, but it's another to actually take practical steps to make that dream a reality. So just be aware of that. The next would be applaud. Um, up, commend yourself for everything that you've already achieved in these areas um, and continue to celebrate the small victories along the way. Amongst the many things you might need to modify or need to alter, there has to be you know, at least a few things that you actually do have accomplished or under control that you can actually give yourself a pat on the back for you know, right now. Um, and then the next thing and the last thing would be to learn. Um, 
just try researching credible sources that educate you on how to make the best decisions moving forward in all of those areas. Um, always take time to express humor and positivity when you mess up. Mistakes are natural, right? So um, you can learn from other people, other resources, other articles, but you can also learn from yourself. You know, when we make mistakes, that's our own way of being able to learn um, without having to, you know, search for a textbook or anything like that. We have our own personal intrinsic learning um, from our own mistakes. So. Um, so here are some of the benefits of positive self-talk. So the first one is increased vitality. You know, um, it provides you a new outlook on life and, and allows you to appreciate small things and it builds confidence. Um, so that's always a great thing. The next um, benefit is it improves cardiovascular and immune health. Yes, it does. Um, people who are more optimistic tend to make better nutrition choices and follow better eating habits. It's just um, one of those things. It's kind of like a, a um, cause and effect. Um, and eventually that will lead to improved cardiovascular and immune health. And um, the next is a better overall physical well-being, you know, because you have an increased drive for physical activity and structured exercise. And then the last is um, efficient stress management. So when you're being optimistic and increasing positive self-talk, you're being more conscious of the decision-making process and you actually have effective coping me mechanisms through all of those tough situations. And so, um, you know, many of you all may have even noticed in your own lives that when you feel good, you know, you tend to lean toward more healthy and productive habits, right? So, are some of the benefits of positive self-talk. So um, we are going to get into seasonal affective disorder. So seasonal affective disorder is a short period of depression that occurs during the time of year where there is less sunlight. So for example, you know, it's January right now and um, a, a few months ago or in like December and a little bit of late February, it was getting really dark um, very soon and very early. Um, and for some people that have this disorder, it really um, dawns on them and it it forces them into a state of mind that is um, less less optimal. So this is something that a lot of people go through during this time of year. Um, and here are some of the symptoms. And I just want to um, provide a disclaimer that someone experiencing, you know, a few of these symptoms does not necessarily have seasonal affective disorder, but, you know, these are generally good indicators, especially during fall or winter months. Um, so we have depression most of the day, we have loss of interest in activities, changes in appetite, trouble with sleep, consistent fatigue and low energy, um, a feeling of hopelessness or worthlessness, and then um, difficulty concentrating. So some ways to um, help with these is um, we have a few ways actually. It's um, light therapy, exercise, diet, and vitamin D. So for light therapy, bright light exposure um, for individuals with seasonal affective disorder or SAD is a great way to compensate for lack of natural sunlight. Um, so try including design hacks maybe in your workspace um, that make it feel brighter and more open. So for example, if, you're, if your work area in your home is, is feels like a dungeon, it's dark, it's drab, um, try, you know, adding more elements of light, adding more, um, clearing out some space, making it more open, um, and just really, in, uh, you know, inhabiting an area that is uh, functional for you. And that's really going, going to boost your energy and boost your mood. Next um, exercise, um, we know that physical activity is a, you know, very effective way to naturally boost energy. Um, it makes makes you sure that the activity is fun and exciting so that it keeps you engaged. Um, if we're not engaging in something that is fun and that keeps us, you know, focused and, you know, has us laughing and stuff like that, sometimes, you know, these exercise can tend to be, you know, a bit of a chore. So try to make these things a little bit more fun, a little bit more suited toward your um, likings and desires. Um, for diet, um, we know that also that healthy eating choices are the key to improving mood and cognitive function throughout the day. Um, so try incorporating days um, throughout the week to plan meals ahead. Um, if it be 
taking a whole day to go to the grocery store and, and just buying everything you need throughout the week so that you don't have to opt for um, fast food or something like that, that's a great option as well. Um, and then lastly, vitamin D. Um, although we know that um, there is such thing as vitamin D supplementation, like pills and things like that, sunlight is always going to be the best um, source for people that are deficient in vit vitamin D. So um, even though there are sometimes um, during this time of year, there may be less sunlight, there definitely is still going to be natural sunlight that comes out during certain times of the day. So if you have the ability, you know, take time to step outside and obtain as much of, you know, the the sunlight as you can because it's really going to um, it's going to boost your mood naturally and it's going to increase those vitamin D levels um, to a great extent. So um, with that said, we are actually giving away a Veralux therapy lamp. Um, some of the features that it in includes is a full spectrum UV light um, with 10,000 lux intensity. Um, it has a just color from daylight to warm white. Um, you can choose from four brightness levels and is you can easily set the countdown timer up to one hour and five minute increments. So um, there's gonna be a lucky winner. Um, all you would have to do is go to your homework page for week three or week four, excuse me, and then um, you'll be able to submit for that. And we will put your name in a raffle and you could possibly win a free Veralux Happy Lamp Therapy Lamp. So um, yeah, we are so excited to give that away. If you have any questions or anything else, um, any comments or concerns about this workshop or about the um, seasonal affective disorder, please email me at zaria.danae.levister at coxing.com. And I will be looking forward to seeing you all.